Don't do it on your stomach. <laughs> Jake, your. Well, I got a story for you guys. So I'm sitting in bed here, and Iris is just out in the hallway, and I hear her say, is that a mouse, Mom? Is that a mouse? And I'm thinking to myself, what is she talking about? Is she talking about a stuffed animal or something? So I just go, huh? Where? And Iris goes, in my hand. So I walk out into the hallway, and Iris is holding a dead mouse that one of the cats must have killed, and I just go, ah! I scream so loud and without missing a beat Iris goes sorry about that I didn't mean to catch a mouse oh my gosh I can't believe Iris was holding a dead mouse I guess she really loves animals even dead ones so yeah I got the mouse and I threw it away and I was scrubbing Iris's hands in the sink oh but was that you did you catch that mouse who did that <sighs> Yeah, we live, my mom lives out in the country here in the middle of the woods, so we get those little field mice sometimes. And I hadn't seen one in a long time since the cats moved in. Because, um, you know, I think the mice, they smell the cats and they don't want to come into the house. But uh, there was one, one then, and the cats just left it out in the hallway as a present. So John is at his mom's house because he picked up a new mattress for Iris's crib. And, um... He asked me to bring him shorts and a shirt, and I have no idea where, like, I found these shorts, but I think he means, you know, like, casual shorts, like, that you, not gym shorts. So, yeah, this is the closet that I've been organizing, starting to, to get together. It was a huge project, because I had to clean everything out of here, and I wiped down all the shelves and stuff. But you can see it's a, it's a pretty big walk-in closet here, so there's a good amount of space for our clothes. But I'm sure you see behind me, there's still like clothes that I need to put away. It's a big project. Actually, I opened up this bag and it was like all sheets and blankets and stuff. So we got sheets and blankets here and some sweaters and winter clothes, but not my summer clothes. She just always misses me so much she can't help herself. She loves me anytime we're apart a little ways. I know. We are bonded. Our souls are bonded, Lola. I think she wants to you think? Yeah. She just wants the her Latin lover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I brought your bags of clothes. They're in the trunk. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've just been helping my mom get stuff done around the house. Went to the hardware store, picked up some stuff. They're great. heavy. Oh. The bags are heavy, so if you want to bring them in, you can. Okay, well, let's go eat, because I'm starving. You okay, you I'm hungry, too. Ago. I know. Yeah. yeah, it takes me forever to get out of the house. I feel bad. I know John was waiting for me, but I went for a run, and then I had to shower and stuff. <laughs> and I was dragging on my run a little bit, so I ran kind of slow. I haven't really been giving myself very much rest days, though, or very many rest days. So I was just like, ah, ah, ah. Plus, it's like... 95 degrees outside. So we are at Grand Plaza. I'm oh, actually right? just, everyone has been telling us how good yeah. this Mexican restaurant is in Northfield. I am like, it's really good. I'm it's not so surprised, good. But the I'm always surprised when people tell me something that everyone's right. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, we had some appetizers that were delicious. And. Fajitas. <laughs> oh, yeah, your fajitas are sizzling. sizzling. Yeah, John got some fajitas. I got my chili relleno. I love chili relleno. So when he, John suggested Mexican food today, I was like, yes, I haven't had chili relleno in months. So, yeah, it's gonna hit the spot. For some reason, I really enjoy shrimp fajitas now. They're so good. Mm. You haven't always enjoyed shrimp fajitas? No, I'm usually a chicken guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That is sizzling, like. And what did you get, Ruth? I got fajita quesadilla with chicken. Mmm. Really good. Yum. Oh, Lola! Lola, did you miss your boyfriend? Oh, you gotta pee on each other's pee. So Iris and Oma are having a special day today because my mom has off work. So they've been hanging out. If you were wondering, where is Iris? She was napping when John and I got lunch and now she's um, playing out in the pool. And I just came here to get my swimsuit because we're gonna go meet up with April and Michael and uh, have a couple hours on the lake. Well, thank you for watching Iris, mom. I love it. You love it. She's what? delightful. How could I not? Aww. You're not clean.
I'm not queen? Yeah. Are you queen? Yeah. Oh. And of course, right after I turn off the camera, she tells me I'm Cinderella. I'm not queen, I'm Cinderella. Excuse me. <laughs> John got leeches. I don't know, keep them away from. Told you to do to me with it. Keep those things away from me. Clean your blood out, Nikki. I guess. Yeah, we can go back to the Middle Ages. No, they still do it in some places. Do they? Yeah. Maybe maybe we should try it. They still use maggots like frequently to eat the way dead flesh on things. Oh. Maggots eat. Anyways, um, yeah, we got some leeches. We're at the lake. Gonna hopefully do some fishing. Hopefully somebody has a fishing rod. Because uh, you... if you saw my Snapchat, I don't. For I forgot my fishing rod at home. I think Heather probably would, yeah. yeah. So April's parents have a pontoon boat and I love pontoon boats. Pontoon boats are so fun. It's just like a party. So you just hang out on the water all day long and party yeah, barge. yeah, party barge. Yes, that's exactly what they call it. I think uh, April told me they have a big sticker on it that says party barge on the side and like bright orange. So yeah, John and I are gonna have like a little bit of fun today out on the lake. I'm so disappointed that I forgot my fishing rod. There's just water, this water just looks prime time largemouth fishing. Really? Yeah, there's like a ton of lily pads. some fish up in here, but oh, I have brought back like my really super high end nice fishing rods and reels to start making fishing videos in southern Minnesota again on John's fishing channel. Fish just ate something right off the end of the dock. Really yeah, bass. something just like that big, blew up. I bet this place is just loaded with bass. Yeah, could be. And it's like the perfect temperature and time and it's been the right temperature for a couple days and this weather I think would make them bite a little bit more than normal. <laughs> oh, so disappointed. So as we were leaving, John tells Iris that we're going on a date. This is kind of like, like a date. We're on yeah. a on a couple or Leg double date. date they call it. I don't know how many people are out on the boat, but uh, drupal date. Yeah, and um, Iris goes, wait, I need to give you guys a hug. Oh, as we were she's leaving, like, I need a hug, guys. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, bring it in, bring it in, mom. You first, Dad. All right, good. But now she she's just having fun at playing out in the yard at Oma's house. She likes to run around naked. Kids, kids love to be naked. I mean, some adults do too. But <laughs> yeah, she's just like splashing in her little kiddie pool out there, peeing in the yard like the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the party barge. There's a lot of people on the boat. Wonder who's all out there. What? They're kept kind. They have kayaks on the boat? I believe that's what that is. Oh, on the sides maybe, yeah. There it is, party barge. Is <laughs> on the front too? Yeah, d is there more than one? Yeah, well it says it on the side somewhere there too. Oh, yeah. nice. I love it. Hi lady. Hey ladybug. Hi Zoe. Hey. I know, we seem dangerous, right? The sun did come back out, I'm so happy. I wanted yeah, to get a little bit of a tan, but it takes me forever to get anywhere with my life. It takes me, you know, a long time to get out of the house. I know it bothers John, thank you for. But I've been working out so hard, that's why. Yeah. It's like, I have to work out and shower and everything, and I'm here now. On the lake. Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. Thankfully, during the summer, the sun doesn't go down until like after nine. Or it starts Start going down, down. Yeah, yeah, at 8.30. It's starting to set faster and faster now. Have you caught anything yet today? No, we only went fishing for a little bit. We were like swimming and stuff for the most part earlier. Oh. Yeah. Yesterday or two days ago, I caught some pretty good sized sunnies. Nice. Yeah. I might go in the water at some point, but I'm scared that John is letting leeches loose into into the into the lake. I'm gonna jump in in a few too. Okay. Yeah. April's giving Lady her water therapy. Oh yeah. She fell asleep earlier in the water. With me. Oh really? You know that's like a, a real therapeutic thing that people do. They they'll care, hold you in the water like that. Yeah. So used to do. Like water therapy. Used to bring Tanner down to see her lake when she broke her back. Oh really? I didn't know it's it for dog. They have it for dogs already. Actually. Oh wow. fall into it. Don't do it on your stomach. <laughs> <laughs>
I tried to warn you not to go in. I was already going. Oh, I can touch the It's gonna look really good. Yeah. It's gonna look good in slow motion. Did he get it? He did get it. Yeah, so like, don't do that like as I'm doing it. <laughs> Try to. That's like when someone tells you to turn right when you're like in the middle of turning left. I'm in the water. I'm, I'm happy about that. Wee! Uh, it's actually not as comfortable on your stomach as I thought it would be. Mm. I was like, oh, that looks so fluffy. Funny. No, I'm just, I feel you know, bent, like I'm being bent the wrong way. Here comes Michael! Do a flip! Ruining the fishing spot. <laughs> My fishing spot did not. Gigantic ones that'll eat you. They eat toes in this lake. <laughs> <laughs> you almost killed me! 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 John, you look right at home. <laughs> Here comes Lady to lick me dry. Thank you, Lady, I appreciate it. <laughs> what do you have? Can I have daddy's? Sure, I get one. Yeah. One for me, one for you. <laughs> Iris, this is called a West Highland White Terrier. We used to have one when I was growing up. And who gave you this one? I think, I think you did. I, either I did or somebody else. I thought it was you. You're not Andre. Oh. <laughs> How was Game of Thrones, guys? It was good. Yeah, was it a good episode? Died, though. Oh, don't tell me. Mixed opinions. Okay. No, John Snow Can you is watch, dead. Uh, no, he's Dragon not. Is dead. They're all dead. <laughs> Rain down from the skies and everybody, everybody. Everyone's dead. You just you never know with Jar George R. R. Martin. It's the end of season. Is that uh, the writer? Yeah. That's what John's problem with the show is that you just you absolutely fall in love with these characters and you just never know who's gonna make it. I, I love the costume and the castles and the scenery. Sorry, I don't know how my if my I have mascara or what because I got thrown in the lake. Yeah, we've been watching Game of Thrones on Amazon Prime, which has been kind of nice. Well, we had an absolutely amazing time out on the boat. That is by far, hands down, one of my most favorite things about Minnesota summers is just being on the lake with your friends, enjoying the day, having a few drinks, doing some fishing, and just hanging out, having a good time, swimming. That really, me, to me, is the pinnacle of Minnesota summers. So it was so great to see April and Michael again in Minnesota. Um, We'll see him more and more. We'll probably see him, Nikki and I said, we'll probably see him more now that we live here than we did in LA because whenever either of us are in either spot, like, we'll make an effort to hang out. So thanks for watching, guys. We really, really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to share it with your friends. And as Kermit the Frog says, stay tuned for more vlog.